So, I have been doing these videos for a while now, over two years, and uh, I've made a lot of changes to the boat. A lot of small and big modifications, so I was thinking about it was it would be a good time to uh, to sum everything up. Let's get started. Uh, first of all, I gave her a new name uh, about a month ago. Now she's called Millenn Millennium Falcon. Millennium Falcon, yeah. She's uh, about 40, uh, no, no, 40, 40 20, 24 feet long and uh, so seven and a half meters. Weights about 2,000 kilos, two metric tons. The mast is about 29 feet long, about nine meters, eight meters. And what else? Yeah. I think she sails pretty good. Uh, I've been maxing out 7.7 .7 knots, but it was just a brief moment. But it's not unusual to uh, get over 7 knots. But usually 6 knots is pretty fast. The sails, I got a main sail which is a, I think pretty normal, nothing fancy about it. But the jib is quite big. It's a rolling, furling jib when it's fully open. It goes around here, so it's pretty behind the uh, mast. I'm not sure about the uh, the right terms that they call in sailing world, but it could be like 150% jib, maybe. Let's see what else I got here. There's another locker over here. A lot of space over there. Then when we go inside, you can see there used to be a, a stove, a gas burner. I took it away because, well, I don't use any fossil fuels on this boat. So there's a cooler here now. Let's see if I can I have a lot of stuff. So there's my cooler. Some beer, some snacks, some food. Yeah. I'm going for a weekend, three nights. The uh, sleeping arrangement here in this boat, even though this is a quite, you know, not that long boat, big boat, only 24 feet, I got room for five people to sleep. This is like that, and I can lift the, uh, the backrest up like this, like I have it in here, and it, it becomes a bunk bed. So, there's room for one, two, three, and when I lift it, four, and then there's a room in, in the uh, head apartment. I got these, I got another one over there, they're pieces. They come and uh, cover the head, and now there's a lot of stuff on the, um, on the bow but there's a room for one person over there. Now the window over there. There's a lot of storage space here. Got these. 
I got this. A light also. So. Unusual amount of storage space on my boat. And on the uh, starboard side, there's a sink. Or two sinks. Tap. And then some, yeah, for the uh, plates and uh, forks and spoons and glasses and that, that kind of stuff. So this is pretty much the inside. The head is kind of cool. It has its own tank uh, in there. So the pee and the poo goes there and uh, not to the uh, ocean. So uh, let's see where I'm heading. Ah, I have to go around that red buoy over there. Can you see it? On the middle of the frame. Yeah. So I better turn. I got this cool remote control. It's a wireless. So I can control the autopilot. So I'm gonna change uh, minus 10 degrees so it's gonna turn the port side. I just press this and as you can see it goes and it turns the boat. This was a cool gift, gift for, from a, from a guy a few years ago when I first got the boat. Uh, he just contacted me from Australia, sent me an email and wanted to send me a, this remote controller that he makes. So, thank you for that, madman. So, is this my boat? I think I need to show you the... Um, What I got under here, on the, uh, I call it a cargo, cargo bay. If I had a um, inside motor in here, it would go down there. But because I have this electric beast on, on its own, kind of a motor well, I have a lot of room under here. Let me show you, I just have to, yeah, turn off the motor and... And I'm gonna lift this up. So this is what is under the cockpit. This uh, big bag over there, that's my dinghy. Fold it up, fold it down. And there's also some water over here. That's not the first time I got some water over here. Uh, yeah, so there's the electricity stuff and uh, I also made some shelves here and here. So I had a lot of stuff over here. And also it goes back there on each side. I have an extra outboard motor on that side behind the um the, 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 the extra sails so that was that I can also show you now the um where the motor is I'm gonna lift this up I'll show you the uh, how the motor works so, there's the motor and the well. You see, there's water down there. I got this here. I can pick it up like this. Comes up. And I can also, you can see, maybe over there, there's a hatch. And I can. 
I can close it like this. There's a hatch that opens and closes when I do this. So, yeah. But normally I, I keep it open. There's also extra room over there. But now I think I have to move on. Yeah, so that was the first part of this. This is my electric sailboat video. The next part is gonna be where the power comes to my sailboat. And the third one is going to be how I'm using the power. Yeah. So, see you in the next one.